Hello everybody, I am here to show you how I have hooked up the uh, multi-filer coil I just built. Um, a lot of people, including me, uh, had a hard time figuring out how to hook this stuff up, so I wanted to just show you exactly how I did it here. Um, so, first of all, I've got uh, eight wires for power, and that are these four pair right here. They, uh, and then I've got one more wire for the trigger. So it's it's nine wires total that I wound, and this is the end of the winding run, and this is the beginning of the winding run. And so, pretty much what I did is bought these uh, these two buses from Radio Shack. They're 12 pole, worked out perfect for four of these transistors. And I am using this type for now. So, what I've done is labeled the base and the emitter, and then this whole plate is the collector. I put them in this way so this is the emitter this is the base and then this is the collector so what I did was from the the end of the coil winding I paired up the two wires and connected it right to the collector which is this green wire here which is attached to this um, so off the collector it comes here two of those guys boom out of that we've got our uh, 4007 diode which connects to this bus here and then we've got our 4001 diode right here which is going from the uh, base or from the emitter to the base and then here we've got your resistor uh, also going to a bus and um, I've got like a 480 in there I think is what it is but you can put whatever in there uh, and uh, you know tune, tune your motor appropriately so uh, that's where all of the end wires go, like I say, in pairs to each one of these collectors. So I got the same setup going uh, four different times. And like I say, each one of these diodes uh, goes to this big bus, which is what I'm sending out to the battery that I'm charging. And I'm just using two wires so that it's uh, a nice fat flow to the battery. Now here, this wire is is the uh, negative side of the of the uh, run batteries or the ground circuit. You can see uh, these black wires, which is connect to the emitter here, all come together. I did a, I did a little bridge here, but uh, this is the negative wire that goes off to your run batteries. So that's that side of the trigger coil. Now down here, these are all the beginning of the coil and they all go to the power. Twist them all together, connect directly to the power of the run battery. That's this white wire here with the red color on it. These two wires here go to the negative side of your charge battery. Then, what I've got is uh, this bus coming off all the resistors, then comes in here, daisy chains through my, my two uh, resistor pots here. These are really small values, so I, I, I needed to do two. But basically, that daisy chains down here, see this stuff. So this one goes to that one, this one goes to that one. Then I did a little deal here where I could 
add a, a resistor of different values to for tuning came back just did a little jumper over to here and so this is the uh, resistor side of the trigger coil so that's the beginning of the run on the on the coil and then of course um, for this I've got you know my safety neon light here which goes you know from a negative or actually here is uh, from the collector to the negative and then the other thing I did was and th this will protect all all uh, all four transistors because they're they're all as you can see all the collectors are connected via this wire here um, because you know you can have all these mounted on a on a big flat heat sink and whatnot so that's that's basically it um, pretty simple so you know basically one side of all the coil wires goes to the power and then the other side you know you split them off to all your transistors and I want to I'm gonna try eight transistors next but uh, I started with four to see how that would work with this new setup so like I say this this is the the big bus that charges your battery and that's the positive side of the battery these go to the negative side of the charge battery and it's connected to the positive side of the run battery and that's about it I'll back off here a little bit um, oops. I guess I can't okay so there are the two resistors just gonna pan around here so you guys can see everything I explained let me show you this is the daisy chain again in case you didn't see it uh, the bus of resistors goes to one point here daisy chains through these variables I did a spot for that resistor there and then here's the resistor side of the of the trigger coil and so you can see that's the battery I'm charging here's the negative side like I said there's the positive and I'll be running that off of this little guy so I would connect the white wire here to the positive and that one to the negative and that's about it so um, I don't know why don't I see if I can roll this back and I'll fire it up it's working pretty good I don't know I, my camera won't zoom out that far so I'll cut and show you it here all right 